each other. If you stare at each other, that'll make it better for me. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome to Ink and Chatter, brought to you by the Asylum Productions. <laughs> I got it. I said it. Away for two months. Huh? Three, two, three. Did you bring us in? I said it. I won't even. But I, didn't, I don't know the. I don't know the. Um. I was lost in the, the deep address. Blues. So I didn't say anything about our lovely Revelation name because I don't know that part. I don't got it memorized. So y'all gonna have to tell them where to find Revelation Inc. You don't remember because you haven't said it in enough time. You're the only one who really Welcome knows. Welcome to Inked and Chattered. <laughs> I've already said that part. Brought to, you, it's brought to you by Revelation Inked <laughs> Studios. For all, hit them up for all your tattoo and piercing needs in Smithville, Tennessee, 405 East Broad Street. There it is. Still trapped. You're still doing it. Anyways. Yeah, still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, still, <laughs> no, still, yeah. Did it move? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still thing. It's it's been still that long. Thing. It's been a while. It's, it's been, been too much. Been together, it's but... been too much since we sat at this table. Oh. I need another two I, I need a couple more, yeah, I, I need think. a couple more days <laughs> off. I need a couple more days off. So, uh, yeah, we just lead off. We're back. We took a little bit of a hiatus for a good reason. We've been working. We're back in black. Look, we're all wearing black. That's fun. I didn't just now notice we've been here for Thank a while. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> this has been a lovely hour. <laughs> At least it feels like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but we, we've uh, relaunched. We've redone our thing. Uh, we've had the Asylum Productions for the last two years, three years we've been running it. Uh, we took about a year hiatus to kind of... It's been three years, right? It has been three years. Yeah. Yeah, it has been three years. Uh, we took about a year hiatus with the page to kind of do some other adventures. Uh, look at this beard. I mean... It takes time to look it this me good. Three years, three to, grow years to grow this. I got. It doesn't even look I that got good. Cubes now too, so it's like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, so yeah, the Asylum Productions page is back, is what you're viewing us on right now, also on YouTube as well. Uh, thank you, Novella, on the YouTube, yes. And then uh, the big news is, yeah, we um, we started a fucking radio station, man. <laughs> we did it. We did it, bro. We, we made it. We made it. We're here. We're, We're millionaires, totally, basically. We that. I just, Wipe my nose with dollar bills now, <laughs> and then put them right back, in my, them right back in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. Please donate to the Patreon. I, I don't think, even know if we can afford it anymore. I think you misunderstand like how radios work. We're not making any money. No, trust we're just me. spending I've money. In, I've been in this shit for 13 years. I know exactly how radio works. Yeah. We'll make all y'all think we're high, high and above and do the thing, but no. Yeah. Like, but we're having fun. We're having a great time. We, we, we have a new website, the Asylum I, Radio Network. I donate hat plasma com. to afford these cameras. And they were given to us. <laughs> oh, God. You know, oh, my God. What'd you donate? Who's your camera guy? <laughs> Hot's in tech. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. New website. We have a new website. It is the Asylum Radio Network.com. Yes. I built it personally. I think it looks We're not doing this shit good. again. <laughs> uh, no, it happened. was all cruise. What happened? It was all cruise. We're not doing this again. What? We're not having it. I'm not doing this no more. It's been damn near a year nah, since I've met you. And it's all it's been is everything I do. Do okay, everything I do. Oh, look what Cruz did. Cruz bought me this, and Cruz built that, and Cruz got me soup. But I was Cruz ain't done dick. You know Cruz what? Cruz <laughs> bought me that Impala, the ice. The he sure ice fucking cube. didn't. He, he did. didn't even know how I got it. <laughs> That's a lie. It's all lies. Don't listen to her. You know how you got it. Yeah, I know how I got it. Amazon. I got, I, I Amazon. Amazon. I got Amazon. everything. You didn't know because it wasn't even cameras. on Amazon. That's where I got the website. Oh, you, wait, yes. you, wait, wait. You, you ordered our website on Amazon? You, Prime, right, right, right. you know what? Yeah. If everything. that was a thing, I would have done it. Building that site, that's work. Like, kudos to people who do that for, I guess, for a living. Like, they get their deserve. Say, kudos to me. Yeah, kudos to me. Now, that's good for them to get paid because that shit's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. But it is set up, ready to go, and all our social media links are on there. Go give every one of those a like, a follow, subscribe, whatever it is you got to do. They're minimalistic things, but it helps us out a whole bunch around here. And it's all fun. Got all the great content on there that you're gonna want to see, like this. Like this. This is definitely you want to see this. Yeah, you I'm sure see. people are looking at you and like, I don't want to see this anymore. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. <laughs> but I was told to pretend like I like myself. So there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that again. Yeah. Don't do yeah. that. Yeah. That's better. That's better. That's, that's oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. So yeah. Uh, new website, new radio station. The Asylum Productions page is back up and going. Like, share, subscribe, tell everybody that you know. 
2021. It's... Tell them how to get to the radio. Yep. So you, you turn it <laughs> me. He's like, yeah, bitch, you talking about <laughs> it? No, there, there's actually two ways. Yeah, I'm there's, looking at you. There's two ways you can get to our radio station. One is just going to the asylumradionetwork.com. That's still new. That's still oh boy. real new. Yeah. It I took him a minute. You see, he looked over here like day. asking me for each word. Well, yeah. A, yes, this is what I'm supposed to say. Uh, go to the asylumradionetwork.com, and the player is right there uh, on the on the front of the page. Also, if you have a mobile device, and I know that you do, because we all do, unfortunately. Uh, we have fucking cell phones, but that's fine. Uh, download the Live 365 app on your Google Play Store or your whatever the fuck the Apple Store is. That The Apple Store. Is that it? <laughs> Technology. Technology. Uh, yeah, you own an iPhone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you I, literally have I hardly one. ever buy apps. <laughs> Uh, and that's the cool thing about this is it's a free app. The Live 365 app is free. And uh, once you download it, it'll say download it. And then you've got to press on it. <laughs> and then you type in, am I doing good, Daddy? Uh, I don't think play-by-play. Play, you know, just search, search yeah. the hey, If you need steps on how to do this, press it, press it, yeah, just, send us a message. We'll have, well, if you're a little older, we can send you how to do it. <laughs> you can. Or just tap into the website. It's it literally three, plays all the websites. If you think about it, it's the three levels of, remember the old, I know you guys weren't old enough, but you've seen it being made fun of. The three levels of the 80s aerobics. Like one guy's over there fucking killing it and the other <laughs> one's like, and then there's one that's like, I oh, know this those, is the three levels Those videos that I technology. borrowed from you, the, I don't know if it was P90X it's or... P90X. And that yeah. was, yeah, I mean, that dude, I mean, the guy in the background was like getting at it yeah. and the other person was over just... The idiot like, they come over here and I'll show and you. You got the new guy who's just like, what is going what is on? Going? <laughs> he's, he's just in the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's punching himself in the dick. But they're always smiling. Uh, like, I wonder how much actually got to pay them to do the smiling bullshit. Because you know they're not happy. It's bullshit. Nobody's happy when they're doing P90X. It works. No, all the workout videos, all, no, especially the ones with women, it is ridiculous how big of a smile they all have while they're doing the most terrible things. And I've done, like, the Brazilian butt lift. That dude is insane. He is, like, he's really, really fast, too. Like, he speaks really fast. He moves really fast. And all the girls are just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the one where they, is this one where they go into the, they go into the yoga studio, and then they're all doing the poses, and then it flips out of his shorts, and then, is that the same video? I think that's that's P90XXX. My bad. Still a good workout, though. Look at these forearms. The right one's looking the right one's like, what's wrong with your left <laughs> Switch it up every now and then. That's why I got this black <laughs> eye as I tried to see. <laughs> Who punched you in the face, Diego? A stranger? <laughs> that's what I call it. Yeah, that's what I call it. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. We got a new radio station. We got a new website. Uh, we brought this one along, you know. There she is. I'm She's still new. Here. Can't She's get rid new. Of me. Yep. So what's I'm on the like agenda? A Producer. <laughs> It's all fresh and new. <laughs> oh, Some things man. we brought with us. Some so. things stay the same. Some things never change. Yep. So. So yeah, what are we talking about today? <laughs> the only thing that changes you is that hair, I guess. Yeah. I do like your I love hair. my new hair. It's very I keep, red. It, it changes all the time because it just does whatever it wants to. Because it was like burgundy with orange and pink, and now it's like doing whatever the hell it wants you know to do. What you should really do? What should I really do? You just shave, shave it your off. Head. Oh 100%. yeah, not having them. I think you have the perfect head for it. it just. All you do is tell me how big my fucking head is. <laughs> It'd be just in time. It would look smaller with no hair. No, that's not even me. I'll tell you right now. I'll put. I'll. I'll make a deal with you right now. You no. shave your head. Zero percent happening. And for Halloween, I can be Snoopy, and you can be Charlie Brown. Zero percent. You would be fucking Charlie Brown. But I don't. My my. I got a smaller head. No, you got a big bald head. You're Charlie Brown. I'll be Lucy. Linus. Oh no. Pig, pig pen. No. <laughs> He's a fun, but no, I'll be Lucy. What's mean? Take the football. Hit you with the football. I don't think you should be dealing out any therapy sessions. No. Oh, yeah. Hers weren't very good either, though. Well, to be honest. Was it better than what you could have. <laughs> was it yep. Lucy? Was it Lucy that did therapy, or was it Peppermint Patty? Because she'd be like, let me tell That's you something. That's not even the no, same no, show. No. Let me tell you something, Chuck. That's fucking Doug. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Is it? That's like 90s. Like, that's not even the same era. <laughs> What are you doing? Where, no. Where are you right now? What year is it? <laughs> I smell cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was toast. <laughs> I think that's poop. Oh. <laughs> okay. No. It's no. One, no. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. 
<laughs> no, that, it's, that's Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty is from Doug. That's just Patty. No. Patty. I'm going to win this one. I get this one. You youngsters. You know what you could do? Go to your Google machine. I'd rather just argue with them and then. I'd rather you not. <laughs> I said, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's there. There's sometimes if I argue with him just enough, he won't bother looking it up. And then I'll look it up and know that I'm wrong, how, but never, well never tell him. How well for you right now? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the... Oh, I can't say that word. Right? Is this supposed to be a lesbian? <laughs> like, it's not a bad thing, but I you think... You say lesbian. <laughs> what did you do? But I know people like, are going to disagree with that, but I thought she was supposed to be, like, the lesbian of the bunch, but people didn't want to bring it up at that time. No, it's Peppermint, it's peppermint Patty. I hope nothing bad pops up for the next 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, my mom. Your hemorrhoid cream's in. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And I, if I remember when I was a child, I was confused if it was a boy or a girl, but now, it, obviously, girl. Peppermint Patty. I could have swore that was not Charlie Brown. Patty is just Doug. Is it just Patty? Just Patty just is Patty. Doug. Peppermint Patty is Charlie Brown. Why was it Peppermint Patty? And she was definitely not the one doing the therapy session. No, she was. She was. Uh, she would go hang out with Lucy, but Lucy was the one, little asshole. Five so you charge him and then be oh, a little, yeah, little bitch. That is right. That is right. Yeah. So we split that one. It's fine. That's fine. Can't win them all. But you, you're Charlie Brown. I'd be Snoopy. I'm the dog lover anyway, and you're the bald one. So. Oh, and I love it when he does the Red Baron and he sits on his little house. Oh, you could be my Woodstock. <laughs> the little bird. I'm not gonna be your Woodstock. Come on. The little yellow bird will paint you up. It means you gotta. Uh, you have to ride on her shoulders the entire time. Okay. Because. Woodstock usually just hovers around Snoopy's head. I can't carry her on my shoulders. Well, you shouldn't have committed. This was broken. You shouldn't have committed. No. Snoopy mm. does. You, you know, uh, he falls behind him all the time. Well, you need to freshen up on your Charlie Brown. Yeah. He does not rise on his shoulders. No, I said he hovers, but that's the only way. He's not David Blaine. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you can learn those. It's just illusions. We make it happen. <laughs> sure. Yeah, well, I'll work on that. You'll work on that? Yeah. Cool. You shave your head, I'll work on it. No! <laughs> it's a deal. I will never shave that. I, I take that bet. Okay. Agreed. Never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> All right. Sounds like... I damn near cried when I first cut it off my hips and donated it, and it was barely off my shoulders. What? Yeah, Much less if I shaved it. What's the shortest your hair has ever been? Like, literally just the tips are grazing my shoulders. That's the shortest it's ever been. Well, well, not ever. Whenever I had the decision to grow my hair, my mother gave me a fucking bowl cut and, like... <laughs> fourth fifth grade so can we bring that back possibly no i think you should shave it i do too why would i shave it Maybe it's too damn cold it. not shave it do a buzz cut yeah just do a nice you got a powder. good hairline for it. it looks great i got a widow your forehead would blend in to the hairline you do not have a widow's peak no someone said i did i, was like, I don't know what that means it's this a, is a widow's peak. affectionately known as parking lots oh that's, that's a, a widow's the peak. point that's yeah. how it starts hmm. Counting it down. What does? He thinks I'm going to go bald. Oh. Uh, I don't know. That's how I started at 26. I've had, this, I've had this same hairline since I was a senior. Same. You've You're had good, your though. same hairline as a senior? Hmm. That you have right now? He is a senior. <laughs> I'm a senior now. <laughs> no. Wait, no, I didn't I didn't start getting hardcore until I was like 31. I think is when it was like, I knew there was... Now, I have seen some of your older denial. pictures. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Where you had the, yep. and you were still, I think, high schoolish with the yep. blonde <clears throat> mess. No, that's like 25, 26. Puka shell necklace. Well, some, I mean, I've seen some older ones back in there. I was like, that doesn't even look like you. Yeah, I showed you a baby picture the other day. I about died. I was like, if I was your mother, I'd have been pissed at you. Like, pushing she that was. out. To this day, she's still pissed. She took my washer and dryer. How much more pissed can you get at a person? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny because it's true, okay? <laughs> I need somebody to do my laundry. I wash my clothes in the river. <laughs> See those bags? Just dirty clothes. I had to buy more clothes. He was, I had to buy he's more too clothes. scared to go to the river. He yeah, couldn't wash never. his clothes. Yeah, if he stick his pants on there and bring it up with a snake in it, oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, more clothes. Yeah, he just yeah, leave yeah, all his clothes. You just I'm just going to buy new clothes. Yeah, yeah every He's just running around <laughs> naked. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be washing your clothes naked? You're not wearing anything while you're there. You well, see those big ass bags? They're all in there. Yeah, he puts it off until he has no clothes clothes whatsoever then he has to go to the crib <laughs> with no clothes <laughs> like a like an old settler it's <laughs> that's bad when you, you're down to nothing so you gotta wash your clothes naked yeah. i am real bad about that though when i'm washing clothes i want to have everything clean so I'll, if i do like i'll take my outfit off for the day and put on my pajamas because mm -hmm. i want everything if i'm doing it everything's getting clean it's all yeah, getting I'm up and i'm one of those psychos too that does 
everything in one go. Wash it, dry it, fold it, put it away. Same way. And my ex roommates way back when were like, "What kind of psychopath are you? Who does that?" I was like, "Y'all should, because it drives a piss out of you when I come in here and y'all shit's still in the dryer." If I if I don't, then it just won't get done for the entire week. Same. That's and I can't handle going grabbing pieces out though, or then being wrinkly like, uh, mm-mm, I have them. See, I'll deal with it if I don't get it all done one day. You're say, just over it. Yeah, so I'm just over it. Stay there now. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a load I left in the dryer. That's where it stays the rest of the week. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. He oh. is a big old chunk of lunka. 65 pound, How three ounce. How old were you there? Three months? Like <laughs> maybe, maybe a year. Maybe a year. The fat baby. Well, that still gives you an idea of how big it was. Yeah, <laughs> Other babies. I cleaned house in the Bay Area. I, I just I popped kept this one the, out. Yeah. Eat your brother. Lay <laughs> off me. I'm starving. And I like to eat baby. Look at that blonde hair. Look at that luscious, luscious lettuce on top of that head. A lettuce. Uh, good times. What's and I don't understand that. Like, I mean, you went bald, but I, I used hobbies. to have like pretty golden <laughs> blonde hair, and then it turned damn near pitch black and then it kind of went to its own weird golden brow color it changes through the winters and springs and stuff too it's really weird what it wants to do and then i dye it so that doesn't do it any any work and then i got the grays when y'all showed up so you have gray hair i had like three stark white ones about six months in after meeting y'all so that's a fight that has nothing to do with us <laughs> you know it, it is sense. it makes sense <laughs> uh, stress me out i've got gray i'm gray all the way around not like solid but it's it's dominating if i were to let it go for a month it would be gray everywhere i wonder i need to do some research i guess like on the different i think is it mel- melatonin melatonin the no, melatonin melatonin uh, mid, minid- mennonites no <laughs> whatever it is in your uh, in you that controls your hair color i wonder why it is that it only works on like you know different places like Pigments. in your hair oh yeah that's like melanin i think is what it's called um but like you know you're doing in your hair sometimes in your beard but you don't see, like, very often, you know, maybe so later, you don't see, like, it in your arm hair or your back hair or things like that. You usually see it just, like, in the yeah. facial hairs. Yeah. But, like, your eyebrows with, don't do it. With, or your with, eyelashes with don't time. Do it. With time, you know, your Yeah, your I know older, are older ones with, like, their, their hair on their arms, but, like, I don't, I never really looked it up like either. A silver black other gorilla. than Yeah, other than um, Eight Crazy Nights, I've never seen white back hair. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's because you're not sleeping with a bunch of older men. I have. Wait. You have slept with a bunch of older men, or you? <laughs> you just what kept saying it. Yeah, that's what he said. I gotta make. I, rent. I gotta make rent somehow. I guess. <laughs> it's true. Better late than never. <laughs> you happy now, Ben? <laughs> ben, my, ben. <laughs> my fucking stove vent. <laughs> Shave your back. No, I love it. I love the fact that y'all, where y'all's uh, stove hood is, y'all have paper towels. Yeah. Yeah, let's just not burn the whole fucking yeah. house down. It's fine. Who installed that, I wonder? Uh, he was decorating the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and he had had these uh, paintings. He goes, I'm going to put these behind the stove. I said, no, you're not. Why? I said, you're really asking me why? He's like, oh, yeah. I didn't think it through. <laughs> he didn't, I didn't think at all. He was I'm going to put them right there. I was like, you can't. I didn't think it through. One, they're going to get fucking disgusting, like, very quick. You know, grease shit fly everywhere. And two, like, no. Like, why would you put paper esque things by the stove. Because it accents the black. It looks so stove. it would look so good there. And especially when it was on fire. <laughs> they didn't leave great. the crock pot on for four days. <laughs> oh. You feel like a no one that left like an hour ago. Whoops. No. Now we all know though. Now we all know. Yeah, we knew. Yeah, we knew. I think he was trying to off you. I like, think so. I think maybe he thought it would do some kind of gas emission or something. <laughs> When they go it turn almost the worked. Out. It damn near worked. I had a heart attack when I grabbed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it. I psyched myself out that it was like so hot it was cold mm-hmm. situation, and I dropped it instantly. And then I was like, stupid hamster though. I went back for seconds to see if it was just that, and I was like, okay, it's just warm, but still, <laughs> four days. That motherfucker was on for four days. That ain't. Cheap on the electricity. That's, and that's why he paid in cash this week. <laughs> <laughs> they well, say you come you can... up $150 short on rent. I don't know. <laughs> why the electric bill is $400 fucking dollars. They say, like, you can trick your brain, though. Like, if your brain thinks one thing, you will feel that. Yeah. Like, they've done those tests before where they put their hands through something and they're like, hey, this is really cold. And they touch something hot. But because they were told it was cold, they feel cold. Yeah. Things like that. Now, I wonder, though, like, just because your brain creates that, if law of like physics is like yeah you're feeling cold you dumbass but you're still on fucking fire like i don't know i don't know how that works if you're if, if your dermis is gonna react 
because your brain tells it to. Yeah, your it nervous will. is still going to do what the fuck it, it will. needs to do. So. Even if you if you had a hand that had zero feeling and you mm-hmm. fucking set it on fire, it's still going to burn your skin off. You're just not going to feel it. You're just not going to feel it. You're like, noise. wow, look at that boil. Look at that shit. Look at this shit. Imagine if you had a Mr. Deed's hand as a yeah. to a right. like the foot. Yeah. Here comes the death <laughs> hand. <laughs> no. Oh, what? oh. That would be nice, actually. There you go. No, I was, yeah. was going like to ask you, do you think how yes. feel? Because, like, but still have the control. Mm-hmm. Just don't look down. Yeah. No Nobody sense. wants that. No fingernails and all. Yeah, brought it up. Oh, brought it. <laughs> Long story. It's, it's fine. A, yeah. it's, it's, it's the sound he made thing. was Just hilarious. know that it's a real thing. So was the sound. Oh, no. no. Got soft ribs. Yeah. Can't breathe. <laughs> All right, what's next yeah, on the agenda? What's next? Oh, well, I was going to ask. I don't know if like, it's pertinent to us anymore, but the uh, Super Bowl coming up, I think it's ironic. I find weird things to me, like... I guess coincidences, it doesn't fucking matter, but it's two red teams again. Last year it was two red teams, now it's two Are red you teams. Are meth? No, I just thought it was fun. Because that's something that a meth head would say. It's not. Do you have to bring up the fact there was two red teams in there last year? That was last year. Yeah. You know what's not been in there in the last two years in a row? Black and gold. Or blue. So. Mm, well, I was trying to be nice. You're not trying to be nice. <laughs> You're to him. Nice. I was trying to be nice to him. 98. <laughs> no. This no. Is a no. One. What are you talking about? The Saints or the Cowboys? Oh, I'll Cowboys, the Cowboys. 95. Yeah, Cowboys 95. Yeah, Cowboys 95. The Saints were 2003. Three? Okay, I somewhere around here. How did you? Here's my. Here's How many my, rings do you guys have? Oh. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> one little one. <laughs> Five. Brady's about to get fucking seven. <laughs> no, let's not talk about. It. I don't want. I just so. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Patrick Mahomes is going to save the day. I'm rooting for the Chiefs. I really oh, am. You know, I, I, I was really hoping to see the Bills. Like, I thought it had been so I much would, fun. I would, yeah, I would have loved for them to go and win because they just haven't. Yep. Uh, I was really rooting for them. And also because I just, you know, fuck y'all for doing this out of the playoffs and we kicked your ass twice. But I just thought it would have been really fun to watch them. I was of old enough. Campaign. I'm old enough to remember that Bills run of like. Back to back to back. Bill, yeah, the Bill, four Bill. in a row. The four in a row. And to watch them. The way they got to the Super Bowl every year was like like the Chiefs are doing to everybody. They just run would run through the AFC. They'd always run through Houston, Pittsburgh, Denver, and um, there'd be one more in there that they'd just obliterate. The one more. But anyways, they just then they get to the Super Bowl and they'd turn in to the Niners in the fourth quarter. You know, they they would just ball up. And to watch them have to lose the way they did, the first two were heartbreaking, and then there's the Dallas Super Bowls, where it was just bad. Those were just bad. Bad, bad, bad. So yeah, for the Bills to have gotten the Super Bowl, that'd have been awesome. Yeah. But this year, yeah, Chiefs all the way. Yeah. And you know, I did, because the Niners were there last year, of course I didn't root for Kansas City, but I wasn't mad that they won. Like, if that had been New England, I'd probably still be, you know what I'm saying, just because they're there mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah, I, don't, I have no aggression toward the Chiefs at all. Not yet. Give it three more years. If they're still yeah. doing this shit yeah. three years, they're not even pissed. You know, fuck Mahomes. Yeah, you know what Patrick Mahomes did? He, he, he made out with another woman back in 1995. His Take first, his ring yeah, from him. His first Twitter <laughs> post was about deflated footballs. <laughs> his father played baseball. He's not even a real football athlete. True story. His dad, his dad was Pat Mahomes, yeah. pitched for the Pirates, the Twins, and the Royals, I believe. I could be wrong on the Royals, but yeah, his dad, his dad was Pat Mahomes, a very good reliever back in the day. I'm just what are you doing? My kids destroyed a puzzle. They come into me with this in a bucket right here, and I was like, oh. And it was yeah, together. Oh. Yeah. I'm looking at y'all's camera. It was together. Yeah, it, <laughs> and they were like, yeah. no more it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, who did this? And with the cup in her hand, she, oh, sissy did. <laughs> You can watch them and, do something like Sissy's doing this. Yeah, I come in and, and one was just glued to the TV. The other one was on the couch, just rocking back and forth. The and devil so, possession. Yeah, and so so clearly you leave. know what happened, but but yeah. So I've saged around here a few times, but demons are still in them, so they're not getting really, rid of them. Yeah, I think they're here to stay. Yeah, they're they're here to stay. So, Morella, what's next? I'm the one. Talking here. <laughs> um. <laughs> what are you smelling right now? Do you smell toast? I smell your burnt bagel from earlier. Delicious. You know what I smell? Disappointment. Mm. 
I just I radiate that. that though. Like I, I, try, I try like covering it up all the time. I got my Victoria's Secret, I got my Bath and Body Works, and it's just like reeks out of it. Disappointment. Disappointment. Yeah. Wait. The, while she's stalling for, like, while she's trying to find something, we'll I stall, already have something. We'll stall for her for a few more minutes. Are we doing a Super Bowl gathering? Well, I was actually why I wasn't. You said what's next? I wasn't even done talking about that. I was like, I guess we'll move on then, because she didn't have another topic though. No, I have it right here, but that's not the point. I wasn't done talking about let's that. Talk, let's keep talking about the Super Bowl. All mm-hmm. right, uh, yeah, I watched the last two. Well, you weren't with it at the last two. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you were doing. But we watched it. Well, disappointingly, was your dad. He was picking at you, and you were losing, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have like us get together and watch it because I watch it every year, even obviously like my teammate there because they're like never there. But it's always fun to watch. You get to see the nice, fun Super Bowls. The weekend is gonna be doing it, I believe. It's on Sunday. Yes, it is the weekend. No, <laughs> the halftime. Oh, so is he on Sunday? The yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's doing. So like, I think that'll I don't be know fun. Any of the weekend songs. Yeah, you do. See? <laughs> Blinded by the light. <laughs> now, you know the, I'm a fucking star boy. Oh. The, oh, no. no, no, sure, no. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not. Sure. Half times are always Sing fun. It for us. No. Actually, it's going to be a little bit different <laughs> this year. Uh, instead of the, well, not all, but some, instead of spending squillions of dollars on a 30 second um, commercial spot, some of the bigger corporations are donating said money to covid relief and shit like that and the responders which it should be and then of course the i don't know if it was raymond james stadium in tampa that did it themselves or the nfl maybe one maybe the same but they they donated 95 or 7500 tickets to first responders to let them go to the super bowl for free nice and that super bowl is nice. going to have a cap i don't know what i don't know what the bucks stadium cap is but i know they're going to have 22000 they already put that out there they will have 22000 in there so. And they always predetermine the the location. That's why how people can determine like buy yes. tickets unless they can go. Yeah, but I really don't think that's fair. Like well, it, it, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It's it's one of those things. It's the first time ever, and it just so happens it's to be one the of those dickhead. things. Like the NFL yearns for Tom Brady so hard. Yeah, they helped him out of that Green Bay game. Your brother called it. Me sitting on that couch, we were joking, and he said, "Watch there be some shit calls in this game." And no sooner that we laughed, it was like. Brady threw the ball. One of the Packers ran by him. They're like, <laughs> roughing the quarterback. And we were both just like, by them. oh my god, you know. And ultimately, that game wasn't decided on a bad call, but there were a couple bad calls that went the Bucks' way. But it's Tom Brady, you know. He's not gonna win. And I don't want to hear uh, like all these bandwagon fans. Oh, I've never met a Chiefs fan outside of the state of Missouri in my life. Mm-mm. Now, I don't know if she was up until last year or not, because I don't know her that well, but my brother's ex, he's a big Chiefs fan. I'm like, since when, though? But I know they were watching football all last year, because they would send me the pictures and stuff. I'm like, how long have you been a Chiefs fan? Where the fuck are you from? I yeah. think she's from Michigan. Yeah. I'm like, but I mean, well, I'm, you know, I'm no, one's, no one's from where they're from. Yeah. So they really, you know, I don't have, other than UT, that I actually follow that state. But still, it's like, that's really random. I've never met one. And then... I don't know, you may, I don't, I don't follow a lot of people, but I don't know any really Tampa Bay fans here. Uh, I know, I, I have a few. My boy Jeremy, he's from Tampa, and he's a okay. huge Bucks fan, even in the Jameis 3 and 13 days. And so but do you believe like all those Patriot like fans are just gonna, they're following him, not their team? I believe because the Patriots... A lot of people do do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I followed just Montana. Just like with Peyton. Yeah, I followed Montana when, when he went to the Chiefs. I was the only time, I've said it a million times, it was the only time I ever have ever rooted against the Niners is that year that Montana got traded to Kansas City. Mm-hmm. The Niners went to Kansas City and got waxed by Montana and the Chiefs. And I was fuck yeah. But at the end of the day, the Niners won the Super Bowl that year. They beat mm-hmm. the Chargers. That was 94. 94. Okay. So, so yeah, I mean, it's a thing. People follow follow your favorite athletes. I don't do it anymore. I'm older. I was, I was young. I was like 9, 10 then, some shit like I that. was rooting for the Bills solely because of Cole Beasley. Yeah. I, the only one I've really had that's left my team that I cared about was Jeremy Graham, but I will be damned if I cheer for any team he went to. I like I cheer for him, and I like watching him play, and I'll support. Yeah, you, you do you do good, but... We got a raw deal in New Orleans, though, anyway. I he know, could have been there another four years I, and been great. I, at I just team. really, I liked him personally, so I, I hate that that happened to him, but uh, I didn't, I'm not going to cheer for Green Bay, and that fucking happening. Yeah, no. And for that Seahawks, definitely ain't happening. <laughs> so. I was cheering for 
Green Bay because I didn't want to see Brady go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's the only. That's the first time I've cheered for them in but a long time. I was time. also quietly cheering for the Bucks to put Green Bay out because I think that cemented Aaron coming home. Oh, he's still talking Two about coming uh, to San Francisco. Well, he's got to he's got to be bought out though. They option. Oh, okay. They have one year option on that contract, and I mean it's already out there. It's already out in the cloud. He's saying all the right things, but he wants to come home. We let Stafford walk. He went to the fucking Rams, which yeah. I mean that's I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, but. We need a quarterback. Garoppolo is, might as well just put him in it back in his fucking Patriots jersey now. Even they're saying, well, we're worried about his durability. So, yeah, no shit. Yeah, like, they, like he, he just can't see. He's missed 25 games in two it's years. Like Romo at the end of his career. Really? Like, really, he yeah. is? He's just turned into the glass man. And then there's always that thing of get rid of him. But then what happens if he goes to New England and... You know they put the band back together. Then I'm over here. They're straight and, and the Niners is top notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Right, and the Niners <laughs> over here at five and sixteen again. <laughs> <laughs> should have been Steve Young. Yeah. I definitely think we should uh, get together somewhere somehow though because that usually leads to good food. So <laughs> that's the only thing I'm concerned about with this year. Like that's always my big thing with Super Bowl parties. We always just have really everybody brings something tasty and we have big old food like. And it's been a while since I've had, at the same time, guacamole and pico de gallo. We had some guacamole That's, a while back, but it was No, you can't. That's using. She's using. I don't care. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> what are you bringing so delicious to cook from the, to the I table? I bring some on-purpose boiled lava cake. <laughs> I don't know. I got this baby shark mac and cheese. <laughs> found it in my cupboard. That's my kids. <laughs> it's delicious. Hey, cooked. They, they eat my popcorn. I'm gonna eat their mac and cheese. Oh, you gotta let that go. I'm not gonna let it go. You gotta let that go. They had a good I thought time. I had it hid in there. They had a good time throwing out popcorn all around. All over the fucking floor. No, they didn't floor. Cook, it, cook it themselves, right? Somebody had to cook well, it. Well, I know that's what I told him. He goes, well, he goes, I didn't eat it. I said, well, I know you did. And that's not the point. But was, he was trying to do the same thing. He was like, well, I didn't eat it. He probably, so they crawled up in there and they got it He probably ate stuff. it and then just put it on his kids. Just, yeah. Just Ooh, so he had a re- popcorn. Ooh, it's all seeds. Sorry, guys. It's all kernels. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy. You wouldn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, you eat fucking ice cream. It's yeah. spicy. You don't, you don't want this. <laughs> you don't want this at all. Mm. I don't know what I'd bring. I'm trying to remember what I made last time, but it, it's like Probably not even nothing. in my head. No, I know I did. You you made something. I know last year's Super Bowl, I didn't really eat until the end. No. When I started stress eating. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But was, you just went to Hispanic food that time, I believe. Yeah. Was, yeah, we made tacos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did tacos. Um, my dad ate all the food. All the food. <laughs> me about the Niners getting ready to blow it. They were up 21 to whatever at halftime and he started in on me you know they're gonna fuck it up you know they're gonna blow it just like the Steelers and I was like god shut up and I'm just sitting there like, and then, and then yeah. after they blew it he's like it's fixed it's all rigged it's conspiracy <laughs> dad you want the rest of these tacos or not yeah yeah, I'm yeah like, too yeah. bad now it's my turn <laughs> no he's he's a he's a Niner fan too don't let him he's a closet Niner fan oh too. okay yeah, it's, it's a birthright I can't really tell with a the, ge- the jabbing, so. Yes, I think it's just mostly just getting used to watch the Steeler so. game with him. And he yeah. thought that was bad. You should, and, he's, and he's born and raised in Pittsburgh. You should watch a Steeler game with my father. <laughs> you would think that he was a fucking Ravens fan. Sometimes he's so <laughs> down on Pittsburgh when they're playing. Even 45 to nothing. And he's like, you know Ben's going to throw 17 picks. You know, we're going to fucking <laughs> lose. I'm like, Dad, the game's over. It says final. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll blow it next week. <laughs> it's like, Never satisfied. It's, it's not that they're like... It's not like they're the Browns, you know, no history, no super, like, nostalgic. They've been a good team for all these years. It's just one of those things. It's just, <laughs> just one of those. That's my dad, yeah. yeah. He loves them so hard, he hates them. Like, me and my sisters and my mom loved them so much that he left <laughs> us. <laughs> just kidding. My mom's the one that left us all. <laughs> it took my took washer, washer and dryer. dryer. <laughs> took the only thing that mattered was the washer and That's dryer. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Speaking of durability issues, we had a UFC uh, event that was last weekend, I believe. Yeah, I was wondering if we were going to talk about that, but it had been a week or two. I'm not going to boast, because I thought Poirier was going to beat McGregor. I thought he was going to decision him. I thought he was going to decision him. I said that for months. I said, amazing fight. Connor's going to probably whoop his ass in the first two rounds, and then he's going to do what he does. He's going to gas, and Poirier's just going to jab him as long as he doesn't run away from him like he did Nate in the second fight. That'll be what saves Connor's ass. Or if it's a close fight, Connor will get the decision because mm-hmm. he's Connor. Did not see a knockout coming. Even in my most jokingness of you know how fun that would be on UFC three on the on the PlayStation or on the Xbox, didn't see that coming. 
but I know. I don't, Connor went in there with no game plan. Dustin did, and he showed the fuck up. Early on, he learned what Connor was throwing at him. Timed him and up. And then he was fucking up his legs. Timed him up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that was like what he said. You know, once he felt that leg was compromised, he's like, ah, I'm done here. But, yeah, and I, I, I have, agree. I've, I was kind of on the same page. I, I didn't think it would be that, that way. but personally. Training? Yeah. Once your leg goes out, it fucking well, you, sucks. Well, you can't really you, focus anymore because that I'm sure that's just constantly like oh, yeah. pulling your like, attention I, to I it. Just, I've been kicked in the in the thigh, like I got think I got kicked ten times that night, and while we were still sparring, after we were like you know you would like filter through different people, like you would spar with this person for a minute and go to the next person. I left that guy and got to the next one, and that's when my leg just started. The pain was up here, but all the way down into my calf, it felt like it was just twisting. Mm. And I couldn't even stand on it. Like, I literally just had to sit down. Like, I can't fucking stand on it right now. Yeah, that's when it comes, like, even mm. if your your motivation, you're like, I want to do this, it doesn't really matter. No. Your body's going to do what it's going to do regardless, no matter how much. Uh, that's kinda, why anime you lies to you. Anime is like, you're, they're literally dead. And you're like, but I have my friends, <laughs> so I'm going to fight it. Not in real life. Unfortunately, you're just gonna die. <laughs> I have my friends. God, I can't stand on my leg is broken. Maybe yeah. my friends you get their asses in. <laughs> help me out. <laughs> well, help now. No help. But see, they're over there dying too, and they don't have enough of that love for you to get the fuck up like you do. <laughs> but even with Connor losing that lightweight division, it's still oh, it's fucking still on, fire. on fire. You have still on fire. you have Chandler winning against Dan Hooker. Oh my god. You have. I don't, I don't think Khabib's coming back. He's, mm. he's. I think he's going to go play for a football team, soccer, a soccer, soccer team. team. <clears throat> and then you, you, you have Gaethje still. You have in the mix. Connor with. You have no idea who the hell he's going to fight. I think it should be Ferguson. I, I think. I it think Gaethje should, should fight yeah. Chandler. Yep. Yeah. And the winner of that, what? Well, and it's still Oliveira. That's that's what makes the lightweight division right now so much fun. There's so many key people at the top who could just go anywhere from here. And there's one in there nobody talks about, and rightfully so. Even as a diehard Nate Diaz fan, I don't think he's in the top anything right now. But that money draw, you know that's what the UFC is about anymore. It's not about one versus two, two wins the championship. You know, you go on, it's it's about money versus money. That's going to sell a pay-per-view versus that certain doesn't sell a pay-per-view. Nick's, Nate, Nick too, but Nate's got to get one fight under his belt and he'll be right back into that conversation. I think that right should back definitely happen. Conversation. The trilogy should happen. I, I think the trilogy is the next fight. If, if, I, I think we're about to see it. If Connor wants to continue staying where he's at mm-hmm. and fighting the top competitors, and if Nate wants to even think get about being in, talked about. Yeah, get back in the conversation. And you know D- Daddy Dana is going to put that fight on. Oh, he wants Because it. that, that he, money. He's Holy already shit. said it to where all these years past he said that the trilogy just doesn't make sense. I mean, it'd be fun, whatever. The fans would love it. It doesn't make sense, which has never made sense for me. But I'm like, no, this is what everybody wanted. Do I think it's three years too late? 110%. Mm-hmm. But that's a lot that's a lot on Nate, and that's a lot on Connor. Mm-hmm. Nate was going through this lawsuit or whatever the hell was going on with the UFC. Connor was going through barroom brawls and shit like that, just being, you know, a, a, a squillionaire. I think that that fight wouldn't have the luster that it had three years ago. It could still be amazing, though. I, I It's still there. It's always going to be there. Well, it makes the most sense now because and it what well, it does it does and it doesn't because nate hasn't fought since uh masvidal which is masvidal in that fight march of last year that fight did not def- it definitely uh-huh. did not go his way <clears throat> so you have someone who hasn't been very active going against someone who's been semi-active, semi-active. yeah only coming off of one loss to a rank two competitor yeah dustin Poirier. yeah hey. i mean i I want to see it. What I don't want to see, though, is they have already talking about the Poirier trilogy. So if the Poirier trilogy happens before the Diaz trilogy, I think it's 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 the luster's gone. Yeah. Even for, even as a fan, I'm, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Because if Connor comes back, yeah, for a trilogy for Dustin, it's, I don't see Dustin. Dustin doesn't get him again. I don't think Dustin gets him like that again. No. No, no not like that again. No. Hundred percent. No. No. But but yes, yeah, so that's 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 my wish list. I, who do I? Want? I want to see Nate and Ferguson. Like, I just want to see it. That I've wanted to sense. see it for years. That makes sense. I've wanted to see it for years. Like, Jeez, that would be a bloodbath. God damn. Would that, that would be just... It would just, be worse than Gaethje and Hill. Yes. It would be worse. Yes. Like, Ooh. ears hanging everywhere. 
you know? Let's put that eyebrow <laughs> teeth on Diaz's yeah. forehead would be split he's, open. He's fine. Both he's of Ferguson's ears would just be gone. hanging off. Yeah, just look like a hound dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a, I can see it now. I can see mouthpiece fella is just using his ear for a yeah. mouthpiece. Decision. It, uh, it's just a, a, a draw. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, so yeah, the, the 155 division is... My personal opinion, the future is Michael Chandler. Possibly. He just got to... He, he definitely proved... Everybody and anybody wrong that Saturday night. Not that Hooker's the gatekeeper. No, by no means. But, but it's still damn fucking Hooker. That was fucking gnarly yeah. what he did to him. Like, he just done. Mm -hmm. Just done. So, I, I, I'm looking forward Going to Going up good against year. Dan Hooker. Yeah. You know, Ask Chandler, Paul Felder how Chandler that works out for so you. small. Uh-huh. So tiny. Uh-huh. I think he's our height. No, he's not that small. Is he not that short? I don't think he's that small. He's so compact, though. Like, from, from his torso to, his, like... He's like a Yo Romero, you know? Yeah, it's Like, yeah. how are you making that weight? Right, you know? like, I have no idea. I have no idea how 155... You know what 155 looks like on me? Anorexia. Looks sick, yeah. yeah. anorexia. To 205 on me looks like about? fatorexia. Which fighter? Michael Chandler. He's 5'8". So he's, so he's our height. He's my height. <laughs> It's 5'8", not 8'5". Oh, my God. <laughs> I am not a tree. You two got him mixed up, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I went to Gatlinburg over the weekend, and I saw your family. <laughs> what the fuck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only in the shadows, though, would, until the flash photography come out. That's when Sasquatches usually die. No, back not the, the Sasquatches. Oh, yeah, fuck okay. you. What the fuck you two? What are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about yet. I went, I rode up to the Anakista. Took the chairlift all the way to the top of the mountain where they have so the, yeti instead. Okay. <laughs> so they have the treetop skywalk. Oh, the trees. Yeah, the trees. It's not though. Holy shit, those trees are massive. I've always wanted to do that, but I was afraid I'd freak out. I'm afraid I'll freak. I will. I will. <clears throat> Monica get, did. Yeah, I'm afraid that I I can stay calm until I can't, and then it's over. The chairlift is what freaked her out. Yeah. Because it's all. It, I guess she didn't know that all protects you is just a bar that goes yeah. over mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Wasn't happy. She... That's... she likes doing like well. As far we used to ride roller coaster stuff all the time, but it's the security of whatever yeah, she's that's, in. That's yeah, what I, that's what I said. I was like, maybe it's just because there was only like you know every time it stops, the chair's like yeah, yeah. and we're like over like a busy road and shit. Yeah, and I never did. Deal. I don't think she ever did. Not with me anyway. The um, where I used to work at the zip line. That to me, like, I'm not really scared of that because I feel like it is secure. But a lot of people don't think that it's really secure because you know this could slip that could break yada yada yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, the the treat the, the lifts those, i've always wanted to do it but i know i would have a panic attack i would have i would have a good time for about five minutes and then i'd be like the rest of the 35 minutes i'd be like i gotta get out of well here. the kicker is is we learned after we got up there you could have just took a bus up there <laughs> <laughs> so after spending 30 45 minutes on a chairlift and yeah. her on the brink of hyperventilating we get up there and could have just took a bus up. I guess a good bus. That's where my anxiety of heights started from a kid. Because on the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, there is on the back side of the boardwalk, uh, past all the rides, there's a huge ass fucking Ferris. Uh, is that what they're called, Ferris wheels? Mm -hmm. Ferris wheels. So when you start from here, you're fine because you got your back, your backs to the boardwalk and the city of Santa Cruz. You can, you can see if you look back, it's just a bunch of you know, it's, you're in the side of a mountain. Once you come back around, though. It's all Pacific. As far as you can see, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I freaked out. I was 10, you know, but I freaked out. And they don't stop it for a little, little, for a girl screaming, they don't, they don't stop it. They just kept on taking me around. Shut that little girl up. And it, it wasn't, it was fast or anything. It was just that, yeah, and it, much like what you said, this, it, this is your security right there. It's like, and coming over into the water, it's a wonder I get into the water, like, that freaked me out. I think I owe somebody twenty dollars now. I think I just found out where my fear of uh, heights came from. Enjoying my Sunday afternoons with my grandfather on the boardwalk. You would think that maybe I would have some kind of PTSD from it or be afraid of it, but we were in the heights all the time. Yeah, I mean, when I was little at the at the park that near where I grew up, that's we were going this. Uh, that's why she doesn't breathe good when she sleeps. Oh, the so elevation down yeah, here yeah. at normal people's height, she gets. Uh, what now? I breathe just fine, thank <laughs> you. When I'm sleeping or not, 
Um, well, when I was little, we were going hiking through uh, Fall Creek Falls. And I can't remember which fall we were going to go look at and whatnot. But of course, we're, it's kind of like a steep hill like this, and it overlooks all these falls. So you're up on a, I don't know what you want to call it, like kind of like a canyon esque kind of feel to it. Anyway, so we're going at this angle. My my father said, so, you know, go slow, don't run. And I'm like, definitely gonna run. So <laughs> I was going down it really, really fast. And thankfully, he just had to be right behind me because I did not break well enough going down and I was literally falling off of it and he Four grabbed weeks. me and it was like holding me as I'm like dangling off the side of it. And he's like, it was like a cartoon just like snapped me around the fucking air and he was like sit. <laughs> so you'd think that'd have been enough for me to be like oh shit just don't do that no more. Just keep doing it. No thanks. <laughs> I think you had that old man strength. Uh -huh. You could just you could just not be here right now. Just could not be here. At least that uh, that adrenaline or whatever that parents get well the ones i guess that give a shit about their kids um <laughs> you would have fell <laughs> the rattlesnakes oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 rattlesnake well. finally <laughs> 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 yeah. ate so much food yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it bit skin. me it hurts good <laughs> <laughs> and there there's a waterfall near that one too that people jump off that thing and it is I mean, a long ass drive. I can't. We used to throw watermelons off of it, watch them smoosh up the bits at the bottom. But people would jump off of it and just pop up, up, and swim out. See, I've I've never understood cliff diving because it's fun. I, I like it. I it I think it would be fun, but I can't get over the fact of what might be there because there's. I have been. All jokes aside, I've been in some of these lakes and, and rivers and mm -hmm. shit like that around here, and you could be literally waiting, and then drop off into the abyss. Do you feel but, your feet on something but, just for you're treading like this and then get hit in the fucking chest by the boulder that you got to climb back up? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, it's a crapshoot. There's a place in uh, East Tennessee. Uh, it's a bridge. It's called Lily Bridge. People jump off of it all the time. But it's a, it's a calculated risk because there is a huge smooth rock that you can walk out. It's not even up to my calf deep, you know, and it's done. And you don't see it. You don't see it because it's dirty water mm -hmm. from East Tennessee. But like, I've watched people like barely miss it and shit, and I'm like, nah, no, <laughs> no, like, no, be a normal person and just slowly walk in, pee in the water, and come back out. <laughs> yeah, normal people just pee in there. It's a creek. It's fine. I seen a, a little, I guess, a meme or however you want to call it, a little image the other day, and it was a bunch of people floating in their their tubes, and it's like, can't wait for floating season. I was like, yeah, me too. And then I was like, nah, never mind. I, don't, <laughs> I ain't gotta. <laughs> I'm glad you brought this up. Oh, speaking of floating season, let's re let's rewind about 16, 17 episodes with the break to last summer. I got big red squares on my feet. What I say? I said, you better fucking duct tape them squares up and go to the tanning bed and even those bitches up because that might be here to stay. <laughs> no, I'm not here to stay. Okay, Peggy Hill, whatever you say. <laughs> whatever you say. Those please. Big squares yeah, you got there. Please. <laughs> you screenshot it. You tell them what it said. Please, for the <laughs> I audience. I don't remember. What, I was please. angry. No, no, just for the audience. Tell us what you're dealing with right now, Novella. <laughs> you seen her feet? She started going to the tanning bed. Brown, Can you tell how dark Brown now? fucking squares on the top of her feet. <laughs> I was I got out and I didn't Loser. think about it, didn't look at it, but I got home and got in the shower and then the heat from the shower kinda like brought it back up again and it and it's like it sounds terrible, but it is what it is. Because the scar tissue, it has a really weird kind of like like a scar tissue looking feel to it that I'm not sure when that's gonna go away, but it smooths back out after the whatever. But I did. I got out and I looked down and they're not nowhere near as bad as they were when they started, but you could definitely tell that it's not the same color oh, as the rest of my foot it's like, and I just I the first thing I did I didn't even dry off I just grabbed my phone and I said uh, Diego god damn it and he said what and I was like all this other shit going on but this was more important it, what is it and I said my fucking feet <laughs> and he just and that was it and he, all he said back was like I told you so hashtag here to stay or something here like I was so fucking mad for life <laughs> Yeah, and, and they are. But I've been putting. The, you can still fix it though. That's the thing. You gotta put the duct tape on it. I'm not. I've been putting the tattoo stuff that I put on to help my tattoos on my feet. That's not. Gonna it's help. not gonna help because there's no ink in that. It's just not gonna. It's not gonna brown it. it as much, but it's still gonna brown faster than the rest of your foot. I don't know, man. It's a lot of foot. I don't tan real good anyway. Like it, I get weirdly like it stops for some reason around this area, and I have like white wrists and. 
Well, I was trying. I thought I was going to, you know, compare myself to the day, see how much darker I got. I was like, never mind, it's not working. And he put it down there by my fucking feet. <laughs> He's like, look, Wait, your feet match are up in that square. <laughs> They're so not. Like, I, I'm, I'm so much darker than she is arm to arm, but I just so happened to be like, let me see the top of your foot. Was it darker than your... And we matched. No, it's not that bad. Why lie? We're it's, already talking you, you about You lie. It. It's not that and bad. it's a lot of surface, too, that she's got on there. It's a yeah, big it's surface. A big That's a big foot. Like... What did you say? The square root of, square root of 12 feet or something? Oh, yeah. I can't remember what you said. It was, I, it was I'll funny. I'll spend the rest I mean, of the I show remembering I beat you that. up, but it was, uh, it was funny. Her new <laughs> shoe size is like the square root of two feet or something like that. I can't remember how you worded it, but... Yeah, but it was yeah. funny at the time. But it was funny at the time. Yeah. I was like, I got a tail bruise, and then I forgot. <laughs> no, exactly. The, the word for word, he had said it initially, me hitting him, and as he's like, no, I need my hands. I got a message, Cruz. <laughs> I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. She ruined no, the good. You know, you never know. Spit the good surprise on you. <laughs> we wasted the good surprise on you. <laughs> Novella, tell everybody where to go to our new website and all that good shit, please. We have a new website just launched yesterday, the Asylum Radio Network.com. All that, all those words, the Asylum Radio Network.com. So head over there, check out all the different tabs we have on there so you can learn all about what we do here. Uh, the heart and soul of that, of course, is radio, but all the links on there are going to show you everything else we do on our other platforms. We have YouTube primarily, but check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, we actually have a TikTok up and running now that we're going to try to be active on and see if we can figure out how to manage that. Uh, we'll have an event tab on there for y'all too so you can see where we're going to be at, what we're doing, who we're doing it with. So that if you're able to get out and about and, you know, rules allow it, we can meet some of y'all. That'd be great. It's coming. The the COVID snap is it's just around the corner. I feel it. And uh, I think our blogs are pending too, but we'll have some really great reviews up there for you on music bands craft beer because that's what we do yeah. we like our craft beer yeah and uh yeah with the new website comes the new facebook pages uh the new old facebook pages <laughs> uh we got it we fired back up the beast that's known as the asylum productions page like share subscribe I don't know why I'm looking at you telling you this. I, don't I know. know. I was looking at you looking at me. And, and then we also have the Asylum <laughs> Radio <laughs> Network page as well. Go like, share, subscribe. Tell your mom and them how much time we got. <laughs> 20 minutes over. 20 no, minutes over. I, it's been so long that I was like, where is the time? I knew. I was like, man, I'm over my limit with her right now. Like, <laughs> my internal clock is dinging, dinging. I even smell the burnt toast. The chest is super tight. It's super tight. It's very uncomfortable. We have just a short amount of time left. Okay. So what's on the what agenda? Is, yeah, what else we got going on? I was going to point out, I think... I can't remember how long ago. It's been so many episodes. We were talked about like the different types of animals we would be, like who would be what. And I don't know what we ever had landed on with you. Several different things we were goofing on. I was reading this article about squirrels, and I was going to say squirrel. because For, for who? For me? Yeah. Why? That because, well, yeah, a little bit. it turns out it's a misconception, but it the idea was that squirrels usually forget where they put half their nuts. Like, all the shit that they stash up. and like, never forgets. I know where my nuts are always. <laughs> well, not your, just say the forgetfulness part. I was like, oh, that's definitely him. He, he would forget. The, other, the same day, he made from my fucking foot. He, he was something he said he was going to remember to do. And I said, you're not going to remember that. You don't even remember what you had for breakfast. And I'm sitting there, I was saying it because I know what he had for breakfast. 30 minutes ago. And he said, bagel. It took him all of, like, I mean, a while. And I said, you really... It, it, it was I'm not. I'm a busy person. I'm over here <laughs> launching a radio station, trying to shave my head, keep it nice and smooth, hosting shows. So I can definitely see Squirrel. But they said that was a misconception. They don't forget. They actually stash a whole shit ton extra. And they didn't just leave them there because they forgot them. They just, just in case they might need it. Right. Mm -hmm. And they did never use it. You never know how harsh the winter's Yeah, so there, it wasn't that they forgot it. But I no, you eventually find it. things. You, fi you find your bagel. I move things day. around <laughs> enough where I'll find it. If I stash it somewhere, I'll find it. <laughs> Yeah. But so what, you're more like the dogs that get distracted by the squirrels. Yeah. Squirrel. Jack Russell. <laughs> a Jack Russell? Oh, we used to have a Jack Russell. His name was Dale. Of course it was. Oh, my brother and my father are huge Dale and Hart fans. I didn't doubt it. I didn't <laughs> yeah, even I question where that was going. Neither one of us said a word. <laughs> Like literally, I wonder we, why they named him Dale. Oh, yeah. Dale. Dale. He was, he like was, Dale Gribble. Yeah. He was a black and white little one too. So like, it just was, if he had red eyes, that'd have been horrifying. But he was fine, little Jack Russell. Now I don't really care for a lot of them. Some of them are little yippers, but he was a good one. He didn't do all that shit. He just what, what would out. your spirit animal be? We know what my spirit animal is. It's not a fox. It legitimately is a fox. Like I 
my I don't mean by the moons and the stars, Novella. I mean like it's not by the moon and the stars. If you could by the be shaman. any animal, I'd still be a fucking fox. Hell yeah, I'd be a fox. you not. You have That's characteristics so of a fox. We're gonna sit you down and go over how totems work. Um, I don't know. I guess we need to be something. Probably fictional, I guess. At that point, they'd be like a dragon. But if we're gonna have to do no. real animals, real animals, real please. animals. Mm. Oh, I really fox. do like my fox, though. I think you're so cute and you're smart and getting this, getting the shit. I'm gonna be a bear and I'm gonna fucking kill you. You're not gonna kill me. What happened to Fox and the Hound, bitch? Fictional. Fox one. Fictional. Oh, you don't know that. <laughs> That's traumatic to my childhood. Thank you. <laughs> True right to my childhood. In the, in the real world, that bear would have fucking ripped that fox in half. No, because the fox was witty. He didn't have to be stronger. He just had to be smarter. But I do see you being a bear. We I, I, my problem is, I don't know. Your different days determine which bear you would be. We would Some days, I see the black bear. Breathing Some apparatuses days, made of kelp. I see the black bear or the brown bear. But most days, you're a koala bear. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a rapist. I don't have chlamydia. Well, I don't, don't sleep that. 22 oh, hours a day. <laughs> If anything, I'm awake 22 hours a yeah, day. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> uh, I am not a koala bear, no. no. That's just too many things stacking up against me there. <laughs> you mm. would be not a fox. I don't know what you would be. One of those fucking chickens outside. Ostrich. An ostrich? <laughs> no, oh, no. An ostrich. <laughs> not an, an ostrich. ostrich. Yeah. Or possibly a squatch, because you don't really That's ever see it. That's not an animal. It's fictional. No, it's real. Ooh. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. Are we about to have our first like actual disagreement? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We've had this conversation before. I don't a think it's ever come out that they weren't real though. Watch <laughs> is real. In in the Northern California mountains, the squatch is a thing. But it's not. Uh oh. You're not real. I'm You're not real. <laughs> don't tell him that. You're gonna fuck him up. <laughs> do Do I believe that it's a possibility? Yes. Yes. Do I actually think there's? A squatch or a family of squatches? Yes. No. <laughs> I go, yeah. Yes. I don't believe there's a family of squatch. I believe there's one there squatch. Has to, there has to be more than one. one squatch. That's the thing. You he makes stupid the, idiots you don't <laughs> get. There's, there's no not way. just one squatch in your part of the world. And then there's got to be a family of them. And because there's so many different types of sasquatches and yetis and big feets. Are you... Pay attention. <laughs> Let me um, see your feet. No. Show us your brown squatch. Oh, <laughs> Listen here. Let's see the hairy feet. No. They're not hairy, and they're not that big. Listen, I have uh -huh. normal, regular size foot feet, both of them. For a man. For a, for a woman. My feet are fine, but there's too many different types of the squatches and the yetis and the bigfoots throughout the U.S. and other uh -huh. places. There's not just one. It couldn't be. Same thing with Nessie. Like she's not the only one. And for as old as they've been doing these stories, they can't. I believe we haven't seen the same one. Over I believe over again. Loch Ness is more realistic than Sasquatch. I'll give you that much. I, I believe there's something deep down in the ocean because we, we've only discovered what 10% of the ocean. So yeah, there's so much shit that we don't say, even know about. Yeah, like I believe there's something real fucking but big as far down as the there. Let's go. We got it covered. We've got it covered. It's the oh, we've burned we've down been in the fucking, yeah, half the fucking forest. <laughs> yeah, well, like, the Amazon is a little different. There are parts of it that haven't still been touched, but but there's no squatch there's no, running. There's no squatch running around, around Amazon. Not that we hot. know of. That would be a too shave its hair. Yeah, yeah. Be a hairless hair squatch. squatch. <laughs> oh no, that would be oh. so much scarier. I'll fuck right off. We found her. <laughs> fuck right off. She's a mute. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Get her. Get her. It's the most dangerous squatch in all the world. About to be. Tickle its balls. Say something. About its feet, watch how angry it gets. Nah, it's watching no matchy feet patchies. <laughs> uh, there, well, speaking of, you know, you rare going extinction or going extinct, I'm gonna murder you both. <laughs> See, you're pissing me off. You made me talk bad. <laughs> uh, we didn't do that. You just did. Yeah, it you did. Yep. I do because I get frustrated. Speaking of you going me. into extinction. What? It's what you said. You said speaking of going into extinction. No, I'm not speaking of that. I was. Y'all took me way off topic with the Sasquatches. I don't know how we got over there. I was going to talk about something important. You're, it's your oh, no, I didn't know. No, it's not my spirit animal. Because um, speaking of the Sasquatches, speaking about my foot, we did a really fun. <laughs> that aren't the same. We did a really fun. Too late. Too late. <laughs> Too late. You we did a really it. It. Yep. We did a really fun photo shoot with my other project, the Morgan Network, where we do <laughs> cryptids and serial killers and things like that. And you're going to really enjoy what we did for the Bigfoot scenario when it comes out you'll, you'll think it's funny because i thought of you 
and you, what did you when we did it. What did you do? It's like when you when you go. I don't want to tell everybody what it is. You go to the Hollywood. What, She's holding two what, like the miniature size <laughs> things of us to just make her look bigger. Yeah. No, when you, don't, then, then you go and you put your hands down where stars would put their hands. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'll show them, and she puts her foot in a squatch. Cement and it like her toes hang over like a pair of old foot blocks. <laughs> God damn it! Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Never gonna be able to share this episode. No, but we did Brown make. Patches. I won't tell you exactly what it all is, but we did make a fake footprint in the ground with my friend's foot, who is actually a female and has bigger feet than me. She made the imprint, and then we just kind of like took a rock and went around it to make that section bigger, and then we made like the big old toes. It looked like from the Goofy movie, like his big old feet. Um, and I told Keely, I said, should we, like, clear this up, cover it up or something so that any of these people who come on your property who hunt won't see it and, like, really think of the Bigfoot? She's like, the only one who would be that convinced would probably be my husband, so I'll just let him know. But I can God. see someone around there just thinking, holy shit, because we left that there. Like, oh, they God. seem like, there it is. Speaking. <laughs> I'm gone now. <laughs> speaking of Get Goofy. Get Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Goofy, do you know, and I, I, I'm knowledgeable in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse now because oh that's the new thing. Well, that was Lola's thing when she was Do you years know age. that? So, Goofy's a dog, legit, yes. which mm-hmm. that was never a question. Clarabelle. Clarabelle is, is a, definitely a cow. Is a cow. And you can tell she's a cow. But they make, they make sexy time, I guess, right? No, Max's mother is dead. Is, you never meet her. He doesn't start dating Clarabelle until later. But did you know that Pete, you know Pete? It's a cat. It's a fucking cat. Mm-hmm. Blew my mind. Mm-hmm. Got me sitting here watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse now with the kids. I'm I like, don't Shh. like it because it's bullshit. <laughs> it's it doesn't say meow ever. Why? <laughs> Compared, like, I don't understand the Mickey Mouse Club thing because it's like, it takes the villains and makes them good. Fucking Will the Giant's good. Yep. Fucking Pete's good. Pete's no, good. Pete's an asshole. Why are they making him a good guy? Children, you gotta learn them kids. That. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> well. There's many ways they can take it. Y'all that. need to go back. They don't even watch that bullshit. It's annoying anyway. It's just deep, deep, deep. What they need to do is watch the Mickey Mouse we grew up on. That's the fun shit. The Goofy movie. The Three Musketeers. Oh, that was good stuff. Musketeers. No, it's still the Musketeers when they did that version. Cartoons suck stuff like it. They do suck nowadays. I tried to sit down And I tried to get yeah. yours weird. to watch some good ones, some gargoyles, and he just didn't have one having I, it. I watched Jurassic Park, it, though. Set, I don't understand that. He sat tight. He loves that fucking movie. All three of them. Didn't move. I don't get didn't it. Move. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, he likes them dinosaurs, though. Big dinosaur. But now, uh, dinosaurs are on Netflix. So I tried to introduce him to dinosaurs, and Ah, no. No, dinosaurs, do, it's like this too creepy of an animation. Not, yeah, those, those are no, cool. Dinosaur, that old Disney movie, he'd probably like that. Or the one I was talking about earlier with John Goodman with the dinosaurs. We're back. That's a classic one. Roseanne? That's a good one. That's the one I was talking about earlier, and y'all were giving me the goof about with the Professor Screw Eyes. <laughs> I don't remember the name. I'm so bad with names. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a really good one, and John Goodman sings in it, so that's fun. Yeah. I'm not going to sing it. Good point. Sing. Do it. Mm-hmm. I love the song though. I can hear my head. Favorite John Goodman movie to close the show. We're back. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna, we just on, talked about it. On three, go. Oh, brother, we're out now. Oh, I forgot he did that. Good answer. I actually had an answer this time. Whoop, whoop. I know I didn't, so I'm stealing hers. <laughs> yeah. uh, was it Babe? With Big? No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe what that wasn't the name of yeah, it, but he played Babe Ruth. He played Babe Ruth. Oh, I've seen that. One. That's a fucking. I don't game. think it was called. Was a good I don't game, think though. it was either. But I, I hear what it was. Called. I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, but it's a I've great fucking it, yeah. movie. Like I love that movie. And it always blew my mind seeing him in different um, personas, though, because you are so used to him being this goofy, you know, chunky yeah. husband. Um, growing up, I didn't know that he would play the dinosaur. I just was a kid, and, but and then over all the route, though, he's fucking evil, you know. And and for the consolation prize of the mention, the Big Lebowski. Yes, yeah. and that's the only one too. Though. He's not really a nice guy. Oh, the babe. The, the babe. babe. You're right. Yeah, okay, it is. So. That's right. But yeah. when you say babe, you know that's the pig. But yeah, Instantly. I think that's a good. That's good. That's it. That's it. That's all. It's the first time you've ever answered. Really I know. It's so surprised at me. You. But I love that movie so much. Like not not just him, just the entirety of it. I, we watched it. Probably was too young to be watching it, honestly. But I've been watching it forever and ever and ever. Oh, brother, we're out there. Mm-hmm. Is it surprise you that? Got the playlist on my that, phone. Does it surprise you that movie aggravates me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I was surprised you, like, that you like really even knew what I was talking about. I honestly. try. I, I've, I've sat through it a few times, mm-hmm. but it's just it's too much for me. It's too much. It's too much of the. 
You don't have to agree with what's happening. No, I mean, it's that's not, not the point. That. It's, okay. it's, it's just too much of a, it's too country for me. Too country? Yeah. If Adam points out my accent one more again, he's probably going to when he sees this. Guaranteed. Because I've had a lot of it today. One, one more again. again. <laughs> you know, I told you how many times I had There's to re-record. No it and a lot of times I had to re-record because as bad as it sounded on the ones I ended up posting, there was some that I, even when I heard it back, I was like, oh no, Lindsay. You can't do that. She said, shoot, this is bad. No, no I love this Y'all used to make fun of me right. how I said, and I'm going to say it real slow so I don't fuck it up, butthole. I said something along those lines, and I, it came off the way that I had said it when y'all made fun of me. I was like, nope, can't say that. That's awkward. How did you say it? I don't even, I really don't remember. Butthole. I think yeah. she calls it a butthole. But <laughs> butthole. It's, it's butthole. <laughs> That's got to make for an uninteresting or very interesting uh Evenings in the Bella house. In the house, clip? Well, trust Baby, me. show me your butthole. <laughs> I'll slow it down like that. You want to see my butthole? It's just for whatever nine. reason, butthole. when I say the whole part, is like, yes, hole. Yeah, it butthole. kind of goes, oh, it makes a weird sound. Well, I did it when I was saying rock and roll. I accidentally was like, rock, rock and roll. roll. Rock. I was like, uh oh, that's weird rock sounding. Rock and roll, butthole. Oh, that's a roll. Yeah, mm. there's the owls there. Say oh. oil. She almost said it. Did oh. you, say it? Did you say it? No, she said it. She said, well, I, I always catch myself with that one because that's one where I will say it both ways depending on who I'm talking to or what I'm talking about. I will say oil say or washing oil. washing machine. Washing machine. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> washing machine. It's like... <laughs> say crayon. Crayon. Mm, can't do that. And then our waiter, he said crown. Yeah. My dad says crown. My sisters say crown. Crayon? Crown. They say crown. Crown. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, like they're saying it's crown. A, it's, not... a, it's a it's a northern, it's a Pennsylvania, more than Pennsylvania, but it's a northern thing, not Ohio. So there's a there's a crown. There's a, another like podcast I watch. There's a little debate on a word. So if I spell W O N, how would you say that? One. One. Yeah, it says it one. There's another person who says that who's very high, and the the. UFC community, Ariel Hawani. Oh my gosh. Well, because like you have the number. He says, he says one, one, but one. then you won something. So it's like a little bit of a difference, but not a whole big one. Like Juan. one, like cool whip. one. Whip. Well, the person, you know, in this, his mother is Puerto Rican, so oh, it so makes sense just, so yeah, why she says it like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And I think Ariel Hawani's from Canada. Canada. So he's, yeah, he's from like Quebec or something. He says like one. Juan. Juan. Hawani's well, a different cat, though. But at least he's not saying... Buffalo. He's a good no. reporter. Like, Hawani is a good reporter, but he's in the wrong game. <laughs> he's but, but he's super-duper knowledgeable, but he's in the wrong game. That's why, he that's why he takes so much shit. It's because he's in the fight game, but he reports on it like entertainment. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he'd be great in the WWE. He'd fucking... Well, he loves it, anyway. He loves it. And him, yeah. and, him, and, him and Cormier, both, right? Like, he'd be great in the WWE. Or extra, or some shit like that, mm -hmm. you know. Or even ESPN, as fake as that is nowadays. That ESPN, if you sat down to watch a sports center, yeah, I, I can't. I, I can't. I thank God for all the other sports networks because it's just like, oh my God, yeah, oh my God, I, don't like I, I can't. It. I don't like it anymore. Like, do you know that you know James Harden <laughs> just scored 105 points tonight? Yet we're talking about LeBron's shoes. You know, like I fucking hate it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I like watching the pregame shows, and that's about that's it. That's it. Even yeah. then, it's NFL Network for me. Yeah. You know, the specific networks, even with baseball, MLB Network. NHL Network is a little too vanilla. I'm, I'm a little too <laughs> not Canadian to hang with that. Because that, that is every stereotype you've ever seen is, what about the what about the Sharks tonight, eh? Mm -hmm. Sorry. And it's like, oh, my God, Jim Carrey wasn't playing. <laughs> like, he was really just being himself. <laughs> you know, like, so, so yeah, like ESPN, I could do without. Oh, and by the way, ESPN, why do you keep charging me five ninety nine? I've stopped my subscription and I haven't renewed yet. It's still on my fucking bill every month, and it's six ninety nine now. So I better, I better be seeing. <laughs> like you some... cancel us? All right. Yeah. Up I a should, dollar. Yeah, I better be seeing every time some we try to cancel this. Yeah. Up so, yeah. 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 And you call them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we, we don't speak English. We'll take care of that. <laughs> I'll bring another dollar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> take away Hulu, Netflix, Give and Disney. Give them HBO Max yeah, just for the fucking... Yeah. I fucking hate it. Are we done? That's it. You That's all. I think out? we're good. <laughs> we were supposed out? to stop nine minutes ago, but it's okay. It's fine. We're we had a good John time. Goodman. Yeah.
He's worth nine minutes. There it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank everybody for being here and watching the show. Again, all the support for the station launch. Awesome. We appreciate it. Visit the website, the Asylum Radio Network.com. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. I always want to say the wrong things, but I got it. <laughs> yep. Nailed it. There. I would I would have let you know if you got it wrong. I built it, so I would know. Oh yeah, you would know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, there you have I it. named it. So what have you done? <laughs> he built it. I named it. He built it. So what have you done? What have you done with your life? Besides hit record. Yeah. Oh, what have you shit. ever done? With your life? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, shit. Wouldn't be the first time. I was supposed to hit record. <laughs> See y'all, everybody.